Hey guys, Ravi here from Ira FX and in this tutorial we'll be learning to make this animation in Adobe After Effects. So this is Ninja Slice logo reveal animation and it's a beginner's tutorial considering the fact that you know to use Adobe After Effects. So without any delay, let's get started. Let us first divide this tutorial into two steps. Step 1 making the background and step 2 animating our logo. So in the first step let us create a background. Let me first create a new composition. Let me name this logo slice animation and uh, create a new solid. Let it be white. Let me name this to background. Click OK. And I have this white background. Um, so let us have a little texture to it. So from the FX and presets panel, if you don't find this FX and presets panel from window, make sure that FX and presets is checked. So in the FX and presets panel, type in gradient ramp. We have this gradient ramp effect and drag this onto our solid. So these are my default settings. I usually use uh, start of ramp 960-540 and ramp 3080. I set this to radial ramp and swap the colors. So let me just um, make a little grayish color. So we have a clean background. And the next thing that I do is, so I have this Batman logo because I'm Batman fan. So let me just drag it into the composition and scale it a bit like this. Looks good. Right click on this logo and pre-compose this. And let me name this to logo and make sure you select this move all attributes into new composition and click OK. So now at one or one and a half seconds. Um, expand your logo here even the transform you see this position option and click on this timer button for positions as that a keyframe is created here and go to the first frame and set this position value to greater than 2000 such that it moves outside our composition like this and select these two keyframes now holding shift on your keyboard and right click and from keyframe assistant click on easy ease and the next thing that you do is go to around this point here and click on this um, button here diamond button such that a keyframe is created and now what you do is drag this to the left side um, like this so now you see that this kind of animation is applied to our um, logo layer so Click on this button here so that motion blur is enabled for our logo and make sure that this uh, motion blur is enabled even for the composition so that you can see um, a blur effect is applied as our logo slides in. So as soon as our logo slides in at this point select this pen tool here and mask your logo as if you are cutting it down into half or slicing it like this with a blade. So now what you do is, is uh, go to edit and duplicate our logo layer. Then we have two layers here and select this bottom layer, expand the mask and set this point, uh, set this uh, inverted option checked. And select the topmost layer and you can rename this to logo slice as we apply this slicing effect to the this uh, to this layer from the FX and presets panel now type in poly so you see that you have this CC pixel poly effect and drag this effect onto this logo slice layer so 
set the start time around 2 as that the the, uh, the slicing happens after 2 seconds and breaks down like this. So we are done with this logo animation. The logo being sliced is applied by RCC pixel poly effect like this. The last thing that we have to do is apply a, a slicing effect with a knife or uh, something like the way you see in Fruit Ninja game. So make sure nothing is selected in the composition and select this pen tool and if you zoom in a bit you see that you have this line applied here between two layers and apply a slice effect like um, create a, um, a what do you call a shape layer like this let me just it adjust this in such a way that this gets aligned properly with the cut that you see here this and even the bottom looks fine we have this slice um, make sure that this particular shape layer has got fill set to none and a stroke being applied to it I set white color and set this value to around 12 that looks good so let me rename this to slice yep and expand this button here and add a property called trim parts so now expand this trim parts property here and click on this timer button for the end and set its value to 0 and go around 1 second forward or half second forward and set this end value to 100 like this and go to the this frame here and set this start value I mean click uh, click on this R class symbol so that a keyframe is created here Set this uh, value to 0 and move around like this and set this value to 100 like this. So now if you see you have something like this. Let's adjust this a bit so that slice is a uh, long like this. Looks good. Select all these keyframes here. Right click on one of them and set this to easy ease and make sure that everything is selected and click on this graph button here so that you see a graph editor and if you don't find something like this make sure this edit speed graph is selected so now holding both the ends like this holding both the ends so drag this to the left like this even for the other one like this something like this this and if you start playing this you see that our slice is is applied to our logo let us just adjust this after effects is all about creativity and need to make the necessary adjustment so now you are, we are done with the animation let me just increase this stroke value to 12 so that it looks good and make sure that the fill is set to none and you apply a stroke, um, stroke like this solid color and if you just preview this this is how our animation is going to look like so we are done with the this kind of animation you can call it ninja slice logo reveal or um, fruit ninja kind of animation and uh, this is how we are gonna do it if you are looking for more visual effects and tutorials consider subscribing to the channel you can also follow me on instagram at vfxguyravi you can also check my patreon for some exclusive downloads see you guys next time with some exciting tutorials